Welcome to the 10 Minute Treasure. My name is Jeff Bospisil, and in this video, I'm going to talk about how I accidentally used 40X to lose weight. So, 40X, it stands for Four Disciplines of Execution. And apparently, that's a very popular program and book in the business world, but it was new to me. And it just so happened that I started reading it right around the time my New Year's resolution came about to start losing weight. Um, I uh, wanted to feel a little bit better and improve my health, improve my energy, and so I wanted to cut my weight and uh, get in better shape. Um, and it just so happens that I accidentally used 40x to do it. So let's let's go into it. To start out, I'm just going to give a very quick overview of the four disciplines of execution. Um, if you really want to learn more, you got to read the book. It, there's a picture of it. You want the second edition one. So they made some important changes. So you want the second edition one. Um, if you want to learn more about it before you buy, I, I encourage you to listen to that Kerry Newhoff interview of Chris McChesney. I got a link in the description. So, but here they are. The first discipline is focus on the wildly important. So pick one battle. So you, you have that whole whirlwind going on and you're just trying to maintain everything else, but what is one battle you can focus on that will uh, make a huge difference? So that is the first thing is pick one battle to face. Um, then act on the lead measure. So there are lead measures and there are lag measures. And the lag measures, you really don't have a whole lot of control over, but the lead measures, you you do have control over. You, you can control them and if you are successful in that area, then they predict success. So um, I'll talk a little bit more about that and give more examples, but it's really important to try to figure out what those lead measures are and be able to track those. Uh, the third discipline is keep a compelling scoreboard. Um, the whole idea is people need a scoreboard to know if they're winning or losing, and it's very motivating. So if you're a little bit behind, you can work a little harder. If you're winning, it, it also helps. Um, for me, I just want to continue winning. So a compelling, visible scoreboard is what you need that has both the lead and the lag measures in it. Then the fourth discipline is creating a cadence of accountability. And this means at least a weekly check-in, a check-in on how the last week did, as well as commitments for the next week. Um, it, and for me, it ended up being daily with my own weight, uh, weight loss plan. So I'm gonna show you what it looked like specifically for how I lost weight. And I did this accidentally. I started, or maybe it was subconsciously, um, but I started implementing these disciplines and saw success before I read about the disciplines. I just heard about them. So for the first one, it's the focus on the wildly important. So for me, I have a very clear goal. I use the Full Focus Planner by Michael Hyatt. And so I normally set pretty clear, solid goals. So I knew I was going to start at 174.4 was my starting weight. And I wanted to get down to and maintain 160.0 for a weight by the end of March. So pretty clear goal. Um, and one thing that I, I did again, kind of on accident was I, that was really that only goal for that part of my life. You know, I have a goal in my work life. I'm trying to keep inbox zero. So that's a different goal. And then I have another family goal. So I, I hope these are separate whirlwinds and I'm not complicating things, but at least for this area of my life, I'm gonna focus on this one goal. Then the second discipline would be to identify those lead measures. And so those are those, those things that are under my control that if I follow through with them, I will almost certainly have success. And so I identified five, the first one being sleep. Yeah, and my goal was to get at least seven hours of sleep. And I, I figure besides the health benefits, um, I will just be more likely to follow through with everything else if I get enough sleep. The second one was intermittent fasting. So that's what I fast sounds like. So I try to fast for 20 hours and then eat for four um, or uh, secondary, you know, if I can't make 20, it's 16 and, and eight. But Part of the reason I do this is because I'm not very good about watching what I eat, but I'm I'm much better about watching when I eat. Uh, the next one is exercise, and I have an exercise program. I, I'll have a link to it. I got it from Athlean X. 
Um, I really like their YouTube channel and I, I probably will end up buying one of their programs. Uh, the, the fourth one is taking a nap. Again, kind of related to sleep. And then the fifth one is cooling. So that's actually either taking a walk out in the cold. Right now it's January when I'm doing this or taking a cold shower. And honestly, I'd rather walk out in the cold than take a cold shower, it seems like. Um, and not all these are equal. That was an important thing too. For me, uh, it's a, a 10 point scale. You can kind of see the scale right over on the side here. Sleep, if I get seven hours, that's an automatic five. So I'm halfway there. So I either lose half my points or I get half my points just by sleeping. And I wanted that one to be very important. So then intermittent fasting and exercise, those are all worth two, but I could get partial credit. So if I only go 16 hours, you can see that one shows up as yellow. That I only got one point for that one, but still, I think that's good partial credit. Same way with exercise. If I don't all the way follow through with the exercise plan, uh, but I do do at least half of it, then I get partial credit. And then the napping and the and the cooling, those are each just a half. So I didn't give my as much as that because I, I really didn't have much faith on that. Um, I th figured napping would help. Um, had no idea about cooling. I figured I'd try it. The third discipline then is to keep a compelling scoreboard. And for me, that's been this spreadsheet. Um, I have this spreadsheet formatted so it's quick and easy to see if I'm winning or losing. Um, and I accidentally built in the, these lead measures in there. So my sleep, my diet, my exercise right there. And then you can see that green is full credit, white is no credit, and then yellow is partial credit. And I have this all done with conditional formatting. So it, it it's really pretty easy for me to do. I just uh, punch in how much sleep I got and it automatically scores it, automatically also colors the cell. So as I push stuff in, you can see my score changing in that E. And then I want to get it all the way up to a 10 if I can. And then it changes to blue in that column E. Um, and you can look at this. I think the weighting made a difference. So where sleep has five points, because I'm very consistent on sleep. I mean, there's been a number of times where I thought, oh, I should just get some more done. But wait, I want to get a green box there. So I better go to sleep. It, there was even a part of the time where... I went away on a working trip and then I came back sick and you could still see, I still tried to be consistent even though I was sick. So that's how motivating that was for me. Um, then you could also see my weight as I've added that in there. You could see I, there, there's these little bar columns there. That's conditional formatting too. And you can see it going up and down. Kind of the interesting thing is like my highest weight is almost always on a Saturday. So that's the 13, the 20, and the 27. So I don't know what's up with that, but it's, um, yeah. Anyway, it's almost like a heartbeat, you know, up and down and up and down. But that is the way it is, and I'm uh, learning as I go. So, but I'm almost done with one full month. I'm on day 29 of the plan, and things are looking good. So, um I will do a video on conditional formatting. I think that's coming out maybe next month. So if you're more, if you're interested in how I did that, um, I'll I'll show you in that video how I did these little graphs and everything. So the fourth discipline then is to create a cadence of accountability. And what this looked like for me, at least with this specific one, is that I updated my spreadsheet twice a day. I updated it in the morning after I finished my morning routine and my devotions, and then I updated again at the end of the day. And those were two good reminders um, that reminded me that this is important and to help me uh, prepare and plan for the rest of my day or the next day. So that's been a very important part, just that regular reminders for me. I am interested in trying this on an actual work-related goal and trying it on purpose. So this one kind of happened by accident, um, but I see the power of these four disciplines of execution and just the insight it's brought to me because I, I work with some talented, talented people and we've had a lot of great ideas, but we've been very poor on execution. And I think partially um, 
four disciplines of execution would have helped us be a lot more successful there. So I'm looking forward to that. And I'll probably give you uh, maybe another update in February and March about how this whole weight loss uh, journey has been going. So uh, we'll see how that goes too. All right, till next time, God bless.